Hello and welcome to your daily love reading from your person. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. So I'm really excited today, it's the solstice. We've also moved into the cancer season because I'm going to use four powerful decks of cards. These are gorgeous decks of tarot by the amazing Jane Wallace. In fact, I'm going to bring five decks in. I'm just seeing how many I've got of hers. So we're going to bring in the Angel Tarot, the Crystal Power Tarot, the Oceanic Tarot, the beautiful magical Nordic tarot and the moon and stars tarot. So we're going to connect with all these tarot decks to bring in messages and see what you need to know to connect with the energy around you, your person, your journey. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So what's the energy today around you? What's the energy today around you? We've got one card. The energy around them today... And the energy around the journey. Wow, sticking out the deck. Amazing. These are beautiful cards. I really like these cards by Jane because, you know, they've got words on them or affirmations or sayings, but they also show the picture too. So really cool cards. The energy around the journey today, the energy around the journey and the energy around your person. What's the energy around your person? Powerful. We just got one card coming out for each energy here. So what's the energy around you today? The energy around your person, the energy around them jumping out, and the energy around the journey. Wow. Flying out the deck there as well. And the energy around you today. What's the energy around you? Jumped on the camera there. And the energy around them today. What's the energy around them today? What do we need to know? And the energy around the connection. Wow. A few cards jumping out for the connection there. I'm going to take them. And then with the moon and stars, Tara, what's the energy around you today? Jumped out. The energy around them jumped out. And the energy around the journey itself. Wow. Jumping out here. Got two cards for that message. Okay, let's see what's going on then. Another card moved on top as well there. So let's see what the energy is then around you today. So the first message we've got coming through is I focus on what I want to make it happen. Now, this is a really powerful energy of 11. You've got the two ones there, side by side. Also a big sign that you and your person are side by side. Even if you can't physically see them, they are there energetically with you. You're both moving in the right direction. And that you are a powerful manifester. So I feel if you've seen 1111, the universe is really communicating to you that when you focus on what you want with powerful intention, you can make it happen. You can make things happen in your life. And this is about progress coming in, moving forward, making the right decisions, making the right choices. So when you focus on what you want, you can make it happen. So remember, the law of attraction is always working. Your thoughts are always becoming things. When you go there in the mind, you go there in the body. Your words have power. Your thoughts have power. So make sure you're focusing your thoughts and words on what you do want instead of what you don't want. Because what you focus on grows. So if you're putting energy and intention onto something good, you're going to get something good back. If you're putting your energy and intention into something negative or bad, you're going to get those things back. So remember, energy goes where attention flows. Or intention flows where energy goes. So remember the power. And oh my goodness me, look at this. You've got the two of wands. I've got angel bumps again. Okay, so, you know, this shows the power of heaven. Two separate decks. So you really have got 11-11 coming through here. So I'm seeing 11-11. So 11-11, huge sign, which is a really powerful message on this particular day of power. And look at this, unity. So the power that's coming in today for you is to focus on the unity, the fact that you are one, the fact that you are together regardless of the outside circumstances, the fact that you belong together, that you are one soul, that you are united, that you, the unity is coming, the union, the outer union is coming when you focus on the inner union. So I feel the message is focus on what you want to make it happen and that is union or unity, being together. But I'm connecting with this 11-11 energy and also the 2-2. Two, two. So you could well see 22-22 or 222. Two. The universe is showing you or saying to you, I have your back. And also this is a great time of transformation right now. A great time of movement and change. So the endings to bring in the new beginnings, the completion 
a time of success. And the angel of success is coming through reminding you of your power to rise above the physical reality, to rise above drama or gossip or struggle and focus on peace, to lift up your vibration. So to bring success in, move away from drama. Your person may be bringing in drama right now. That's why you're not with them physically because you're being protected from that. But things are speeding up, car moving outside, car moving forward. The Knight of Swords is also about spontaneous action. So drama can come in quickly. So you have to make sure that you are rising above any drama or fear or pain. Keep your eyes on what you do want instead of what you don't want and that will move things forward. And I'm seeing this as your person making decisions and some of those decisions may bring in drama, especially if there's a karmic ending or there's arguments going on with karmic partners or other things happening. You are being protected right now from that energy. But rise above drama and know that you are safe. Now the energy coming in around them today is the five of wands. So they're starting to stand their ground and look for peace in their life. They are starting to overcome conflict. They don't want conflict in their life. Conflict can be with karmic partners. It can be with family members. It can even be with themselves. And they certainly don't want conflict with you. So they're starting to stand up for who they are and what they believe in. And that's bringing new experiences into their life. Now, the Page of Pentacles is that energy of spiritual growth. And you've assisted with their growth so much. This is the stag year as well, the promise of your union. So if you're upset today because you're not together, try and see it in a higher way. Because you are together, even though you are not in the physical right now. You are together, even though you are apart. And that's what you're being shown. And your person is changing for you. So they want to become more financially independent. They want to take control of their things, their circumstances at work. They want to be more spiritually aware of things. And also, look at this for powerful. We've got the five of wands again. So five of wands, five, five. So five, five is about the changes they are going through for their spiritual growth, new experiences coming in. And also to let you know there is no competition. And they give me a little bit of fear there. So there's no competition. So if you're thinking about the karmic partner, guess what? There's no competition. There's only you. But I feel they actually feel in competition for your affections and your energy because they're worried about you moving on. So they are actually in fear of what's going on with you right now. And they want to step into their power and approach you and make changes for the highest good. They are learning so much right now. We've got the Page of Swords education there. And they are learning so many things through the silence. They are working out what their vision is and how to make it real. So the Seven of Pentacles is the energy moving into July. I also feel this is the energy where we are right now, stepping into this cancer season. This is about a vision of the truth and a vision of the future. They are being educated on what this vision means for their life. So they are going through lots of changes to bring in new experiences. So rise above any drama today and understand there is no competition and you are both safe. So it's really powerful that you've got the two of ones for you and the five of ones for them because it's also a sign of movement. Now, the energy around the connection today is the king of ones. And this is showing you that they have a loyal heart. I feel you may see yellow flowers today or daisies, or you may even see sunflowers as a huge sign that they are starting to follow their heart. So you can affirm today, I am successful in all that I do. I am a success. I am successful. They are tapping more and more into their intuition to make things happen. And that's opening doorways. And the Eight of Cups is about walking away from anything, not serving you, moving forward. They're walking through doorways to give you the recognition that you deserve and desire. So the recognition could be them saying to you that they love you. Showing the door. Opening the door. Showing you the door. In other words, saying, I've walked through this door. I'm closing this door on the past. I'm opening a new door with you. So anything that's been restricting that energy, whereas that's been them walking away from a karmic partner or restricting them from speaking their truth or opening up to you, this is changing. The doors of change are opening and the control is being released. So surrender what needs to go. Let go of the past. Don't judge them anymore. They want to make a commitment to you and that should bring comfort in for you. 
And you know this truthfully in your heart and soul. So they want a life of peace and comfort with you. They want to be committed with you. They want to feel safe in your arms. And the fact that we've got nine again here is blessing. So nine, nine, this is very much about the spiritual journey and the spiritual connection that you have. So I'm feeling, yeah, look at this. Oh my God, he's me, nine of wands, determination. So this is really powerful. These cards are coming through. So we've got the energies of the number sequences. So today you're going to receive 11, 11, 2, 2, 2, connected with where you are in your journey, reminding you to believe, to have faith and trust the universe. They are going to be shown fives, five, 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 which is a huge sign of change coming into their life. And I feel that the 999 is about your spiritual pathway and your journey, that you're determined to receive blessings in your life and that these blessings are coming in. It's also showing you that you are divinely perfect just as you are. You don't need to change. So don't let the mind or the ego put you into obsessive energy where you're worried about competition or you're worried about what they are doing or you're stressing over certain things or drama. Release all of that to heaven. This is an amazing time to release to begin again, to start again. A door is open for change. So if there is drama around, it's because they are dealing with releasing things. They may also be in their own head about certain things because they are also very jealous about you and who you're spending time with, even though you may be focused on them and who they are spending time with. This is a reciprocated energy. And this is what's being transformed because union is coming. So focus on what you want and you will make that happen. That will lead to success because things are turning in your favor. Don't worry if there seems to be a delay in communication. They are learning at this time, learning to rise above drama, to deal with that drama, to have the vision of what they want with you and to make that reality. For that to happen, they need to release the past, to let go, to move the competition away, even though there isn't any competition. And that's what they are doing to move into a new experience with you, to step into their power, to open the door so they can stand their ground, speak their truth and find that peace. And that peace, that comfort, that blessing is always with you. And that's what you need to know. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.